Hello internet friends. In this video, we are going to play with fire. Um, if you watched the previous video, you know that I um, made a pretty big dent in my left forward fuselage skin. Uh, and the problem being that it was oil canning. And what I learned that that meant is uh, when you pushed on the dent, it would pop through <laughs> right the, uh, the other side. Uh, and it would just kind of click and pop, and then, uh, you know, as the skin flexed, it would just keep popping from one side to the other. Uh, and the problem with that is obviously I don't want that on my airplane, and I con was concerned about metal fatigue. So my solution was going to be, actually it was, I ordered two 2x4 two sheets of 2024 T3, four thousandth thickness which is the same as this and I was just going to uh, trace this skin and cut it out and then match drill it to uh, to that um, but this is where I'm gonna plug the slack group in the beginning of the video instead of the end of the video uh, on slack one of the um, users uh, captain charlie bravo shout out to you uh, he saved me here because he said, well, why don't you go look up uh, oil canning and how to fix it? So, uh, yeah, so I did. And it looked kind of fun to uh, use fire. And actually, I was thinking, well, if this destroys the skin, maybe I should trace it out. But I figured out that um, I thought it would be pretty evident if it was starting to destroy the skin when I put fire on it. So... Um, here we are, and uh, this is two and a half hours to get uh, this dent out. And really, the problem is, it's not just one dent. If I would have stopped <laughs> when I made the dent, and then used uh, this method to get the dent out, it would have taken one minute. But the problem was, I sat there banging on it, trying to get that dent out, and I turned one dent into about 30 dents. So what you see me doing here is heating up the skin. Uh, you can It's pretty visible to see it expand when uh, we're watching it on the time lapse. But uh, yeah, so it expands one of the dents and then I pound that dent out and then I cool it off real fast with the air compressor. And then I feel it, see if it made it smooth and then uh, go to the next dent. And two and a half hours later, I got pretty much all of the dents out. So this kind of just illustrates exactly why I started the Slack group. Um, story time about Slack. Uh, when I first started at uh, the company I work for, like seven years ago, um, there were I was number 12 on my team. Now we have like 200 people. But um, we needed a way to collaborate across the entire United States and we were very geographically dispersed. No one was in the same location and uh, We tried a bunch of different tools. We tried like Yammer. We tried forums We tried all kinds of stuff and slack was the first tool that like we could communicate in real time We could uh, you know meet our customers needs and respond instantaneously to anything that happened. So um, we use slack at my work um, and it's been a pretty effective tool to be able to reach anyone in the company and communicate in real time and you know we have people all over the world and different time zones and constantly I have to talk to someone in like either India or um, Australia or New Zealand and um, while <laughs> obviously they're asleep it's useful to be able to contact them as soon as they wake up or as before I go to bed and vice versa right so anyway Slack's been a useful tool to be able to find anybody um, and so my thought was, well, why don't we bring that to RVs, right? So that's why I started the Slack group. And for situations exactly like this, where you know, we're all learning how to build these airplanes and work with metal, and I definitely didn't know how to solve this problem, and someone else did. And it's just so much more effective when you get immediate communication than like if you do a forum or a post on the vans forms right and the vans doesn't actually control them if you're watching this video for the first time and don't know what 
you know, Vans is there, there's a third party that runs the Vans forums called Vans Aircraft. And the problem with that is that everybody on there has an opinion and you have super experienced people and you have complete newbies like me that don't know anything about airplanes. Um, so you just get a variety of responses and, you know, sometimes the level of snark is just more than, uh, I'm patient with. So also it's experimental aviation. So people want to try different things and everyone's like, well, why don't you just do the same thing that's been done for a hundred years? Cause we know that works and you're stupid for trying something else. And okay, great. That's how technology advances is no one tries anything new. And I mean, the, there's two hands to that, right? There's safety and there's pushing the envelope. And one's got to give for the other to happen. So, I mean, you know, I look, considered that on mine, how uh, on my plane and the choices I'm planning to make uh, for electronic ignition. And well, really, that's the only <laughs> that's the only uh, envelope pushing thing I'm going to do on my plane. So I'm not going to change any shapes or anything. Or try any experimental engines or anything like that. So anyway, I hope this was helpful for anyone else that uh, faces the same problem uh, and dents their skin significantly and needs to work it out. Hopefully uh, it's a flat piece of aluminum that you can use this method. So I don't know what I'm going to do with the aluminum that I ordered. Um, I guess I'll probably make some brackets for my fuel pumps uh, that should be coming soon. Um, yeah, that's probably what I'll do. And then maybe when I go to California sometime in the near future, I'll return the other sheet because it's uh, 40 bucks per sheet. So I'll need to just have it sitting around. Uh, maybe I'll find some use for it. So anyway, I guess I'll plug the side group again. Uh, if you have issues like the one I was facing in this video, come join our Slack group. The link's in the description. Uh, maybe someone will have a suggestion on how you can resolve your problem or maybe not because a lot of us are learning together right let's all learn together so see you in the slack group and i will see you in the next video